Great deals are springing up at New York and Company. Today, everything is 40% off. Plus, today only, new dresses only $19.99. New York and Company has more than 200 dress styles, from maxis to fit and flare perfect for everywhere. Plus, the new spring collection from Ava Mendes is on trend and on sale. Hop online or to stores to get 40% off everything at New York and Company. All right, welcome to all of you out there in MixLR land and in Blog Talk Radio land. This is Prophetic Insights with Lauren and Regina Do Ministries. And um, today we're going to try and experiment and add the um, Facebook Live in. On last year, we tried using. Uh, another tool, and that just didn't seem to to work. This is a little different, and so we'll see in a moment. But I believe we have an interesting program. Ah, we've got Brother Jocko uh, listening in South Africa. So glad that you're there, my dear brother. And then, of course, those of you on the phone lines and... Um, there in the chat room. Oh, we had quite a week last week with our work on the warfare of the saints. And I pray that if you didn't hear any of that, that you will um, get that. All right. I think what we'll do before we bring in live, we're going to go ahead and do our prayer. And then we'll bring live in. Let's do it that way. Let's see if this is prophets. Prophets, Argina, is this you? Yes. All right. Um, go ahead, and if you would, give your prophetic insight and prayer. We have Brother Jocko, Jocko Kukard, I think is how you said, with us from South Africa. Oh, praise the Lord. I was thinking about his mother the other day. Am I still connected? Are you there, Prophet? Yeah, you're yeah. fine. Go right ahead. Oh, okay. Praise the Lord, everyone, and welcome. We thank God that you are here with us this evening, and we know that God has given Dr. Du a word to share, and I know that people are going to be blessed from the word that's going to be shared, and you're going to be encouraged and inspired. Our Heavenly Father is an awesome, awesome God. In Psalms 31, it says, O oh Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. That's the NIV. Our Heavenly Father truly is our protection. And we that turn to him and stay in him, he will not let us be ashamed because we follow his word. And when we follow his word, he will keep his commitment to us. For our God has given us the joy of our strength, which is his son, Jesus Christ. And having that joy inside of us, we have an abundant life because of the love that God has toward his children. Heavenly Father, we thank you this evening. For we say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Father, we thank you for the program this evening. We thank you for the listeners from the north, south, east, and west, that they will be blessed from what they shall hear. They shall receive the word from heaven. And, Father, let them be encouraged and inspired to know that our God is on the throne. And, God, you know what is best for us. Let us receive it and give you thanksgiving, for the plan that you have for us is greater than what we can imagine, a plan for good and not of evil. Father, we thank you that you love us so much that through Jesus Christ, you gave us your only begotten son, that we could have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, hallelujah. We thank you, dear God, for your word that it stands 
but above anything else, that your word will not fail us. Father, we thank you that we have victory because of your word. We thank you because you love us. We thank you because we're overcomers. Father, we bind every spirit of the adversary that would come against us. We bind it on earth as it's already bound in heaven. And we loose the power of God on earth as it's loosed in heaven. We loose the healing anointing of the Lord on earth as it's loosed in heaven. Father, we bind up demons of hate, racism, lying, deception, murdering. We bind them on earth as it's bound in heaven. And we loose the angels of protection and love. We loose the angels of understanding and strength. We loose the angels, dear God, to stand God for your people. We plead the blood of Jesus over your people. We thank you for the power that is in the blood of Jesus that is given to us for the remission of our sins. Hallelujah. Woo, glory to God. Hallelujah. We thank you this evening. We honor you that you have blessed our nation. Father, you have blessed those countries that need prayer, need encouragement. Father, that you would sustain us that we can continue to pray. We honor you. We look to the hills and whence cometh our help, knowing all of our help comes from God. We glory in you. We love you. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We receive that prayer, prophetess, and thank God for your words of encouragement and the prophetic insights. We're so glad to see Sister Kathy as well there in the chat room with yourself. <coughs> Excuse me, everyone. We're going to, uh, we're doing something a little, please bear with me today. I'm trying another experiment um, on this these programs, and we're going to go live um, with, um, on live, <laughs> go live on live. And so let's see how that works. We're gonna do our best to, we're, we're doing kind of simultaneously involved with uh, different media here, media. So we're gonna go live. We're going live in three, two, one seconds. Welcome those of you that are out there in live. And then of course, all of our listeners that are with us, Blog Talk Radio and uh, MixLR. Today we're going to be looking at um, this spirit called the strongman. And those of you that were with us, I think last week we shared this. We may not have, but I'm going to share it now. We're doing this work. We'll show it to the people that are looking on live. I wish those of you in the chat rooms could see it. But it's from our book called Prayers. And uh, if you want the book, just send me a note and I'll send you the information you can order it yourself if you'd like to have it uh, we use a lot of different tools in our work uh, oh praise God little Burrell little Burrell is joining us this is a book we're teaching from tonight called prayers and you know over the years we've used this book here on blog talk radio and I um, tonight I want to just share with you that what we're looking at teaching from on uh, the strong man or the spirit of the antichrist there is a prayer that's in here matter of fact i said there are a number of prayers and i've taught on several things uh, using this book before but there's a specific prayer dabling strong man prayer and so we have the authority and the power to do that and i know you're saying why is he teaching doing this kind of teaching well one of the things that we do in prophetic counseling, ministry, uh, or the inner healing, spiritual transformation, or just downright doing deliverance and, and uh, healing, we sometimes have to do what's called deliverance, and we have to cast a spirit out or call a spirit out. And um, if you don't know the spirit, you can't call it out. But if the Lord shows you the spirit, then you're able to call it out and then there are prayers either we may use a written prayer or we may do just pray from our spirit my wife and i we've been doing this together now this is what 25 years together and then all the years way before this us individually doing this work so uh, <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of exciting to see their tools and to 
continue help equipping people to deal with uh, the spirits and the spiritual. Well, we're going to use to say the warfare of the saints. Those of you that were with us last week, you notice I made that correction to all of our programs. We said spiritual warfare. We're going to start using that terminology, um, warfare of the saints. We heard Bishop Hennings with Bishop uh, Blake last week make a public correction, which I think was wonderful that we've been using, all of us have been using that terminology in the wrong uh, tense. So I'm making my corrections. Uh, whenever I find I'm either an error or a little off or need help with something, I'll change quickly because I want everything to always line up as best I can right with the word. If it's not lined with the word, then like our pastor said yesterday, if it's not in the word, don't pay any attention. Uh, because, you know, folks can say anything. But when we're talking the word and living the word, that's what's most important. So anyway, this prayer, uh, I guess I could read it to you, but I'm not going to because it's a long prayer. But just know that we have this tool. Uh, we only have a short time, so I want to just teach uh, on this spirit um, that we're going to look at tonight of the Antichrist. So the Saving Strongman Prayer deals with all of these different spirits that we will look at. I don't know how many we'll get to in here. We may get them all, we may not. But um, as I'm finding out every time I, the Lord sends me on, a, I would call it on, in a direction, I'm saying, well, Lord, why am I going that way? And then somebody will come back and confirm I really needed that. They'll send an email or call or something. So the spirit of the Antichrist, uh, it, it, let's just start out. It's 1 John, the fourth chapter, verse 3 says, uh, and I've got the three versions, and every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit, small s, of Antichrist. Whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is in the world. I believe the spirit of Antichrist uh, first showed up a um, long time ago, but I know it. we definitely can see its behavior when Herod was trying to kill the babies in terms of trying to, the spirit actually trying to do some damage and using somebody to do something when um, Herod, remember, uh, the one to kill the and he did kill the two year olds just as they had done trying to destroy Moses, and that's why people say Moses was the antitype of Christ. Okay, so um, if we look at um, the New Living Testament, it says but, and of course, if it says but, you know, we have to go back up to the first the other verse to see why. Let's read verse two. This is how we know that if they have the Spirit of God. If a person claiming to be a prophet acknowledges that Jesus Christ came in a real body, that person has a spirit of God. So that answers another question for people that wonder about true prophets and people that are called of God. Uh, they're going to do that. But here's now, now he takes us on verse 3, which we just read in the King James. Um, but in the New Living, it says, but if someone claims to be a prophet, and does not acknowledge the truth about Jesus, that person is not from God. Now notice how the New Living Testament wants to limit this acknowledgement just to prophets. That's why we have to, when I use all these versions on purpose, but you, when you're using them, you gotta know that some of the versions to me, I think are off. I don't think they're off. And they're not in agreement with the King James, which since we're not in the Greek, we're not in the Hebrew, we're not in the Aramaic, at least we have uh, these things to help try to clarify some things. Anyway, they, they want to limit it to prophets. No, I think that anybody that, that doesn't confess Jesus, uh, they've got that spirit somewhere lurking. All right, such a person has the spirit of Antichrist. And, of course, in the New Living, they put it capital, <laughs> which you heard is coming in the world and indeed is already here. So at least it agrees with that, the fact that the spirit is in the earth, we're, we're seeing it. And then of course, Amplified 
goes into greater detail and says every spirit which does not acknowledge, does not, I like that, and confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. He's a real person. He wasn't a spirit. It's a man in flesh. And then you can see, uh, but they put they put theirs in brackets. But would annul, destroy, ever disunite him, okay, is not of God. Does not proceed from him. All right, then we go on. This nun confession is the spirit, small s, okay, of the Antichrist, of which you have heard that we was coming, and now it's already in the world. So they pretty much agree, except uh, New Living wants to to limit the prophets, or at least put the direction towards the prophets. And of course, that's because there's there, there are many prophets, and you think of all of the um, <laughs> when Jeremiah talks about all the false prophets, and he said Jeremiah said those folks that say the Lord had told him say say that. I said it, they're lying. And so we got lying prophets today too. I mean, it's, it's they've been around and they will be around until Jesus returns. All right, so let's go on and look at this spirit. The strong man called spirit of Antichrist, we, we say this now, I bind you in the name of Jesus, along with all of your works, your roots, your fruits, your tentacles, links and spirits that are in and then if this is in a person and when we we're ministering we'll say in, in me and then any other spirits and the lives of those folks we know and we prayed for and this is when we prayed for people today along with all of our fruits and spirits so let's get into what these spirits are um to this spirit more things that relate to it let's go now to um we've already read one four let's go to second john two and seven and see what it has to say uh, as we deal with this uh, denying the deity of the Lord Jesus Christ. You know, it's one Lord, one faith, and one baptism. We have one God, and the three are one. All right. So verse uh, seven in this uh, second John, one seven says, for many deceivers are entered into the world who confess not that Jesus has come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Interesting that John, in all of his writings, 1 John, 2 John, 3 John, St. John, is dealing with antichrist, and he's the, the love guy. I call him the love guy. Love the love man. All right, so, but he, see, he knows because uh he is the one that leaned his head on Jesus' breast, uh, or he rested. You know, they they were close. And hey, uh, if you got a close friend, you got a close friend. So he was close, and he he did that. So we got people that are in denial, and there are people now that will maybe they'll say, well, yeah, he lived, but he wasn't who he was, or they don't acknowledge the. Uh, supernatural power. They don't acknowledge the fact that he was the that he is the Son of God. And when he walked on the earth, he was you know the Son of God. All right, let's go on. So uh, others deny the atoning blood, the fact that he actually, in his living, came here. And I tell you, without Jesus, what we believe, what we stand for, uh, and what we see uh, many times happening. Without the blood of Jesus, we wouldn't see it, wouldn't happen uh, without him having shed his blood. Matter of fact, if he hadn't uh, lived, first he had to be born, so if he hadn't been born uh, of, of a virgin, and he had to be, it had to be that way. You know, I'm, some folks say, well, couldn't he have just appeared like Elijah? Well, I believe Elijah was a type and a shadow of what it could have been, but it couldn't have been. Jesus had to be come through the uh, way of a virgin because he was representing or standing in the place of you and I. And so he had to be flesh, had to be some flesh uh, in order to be able to be that perfect sacrifice. 
I, I laugh at, uh, well, I shouldn't laugh, but I do laugh, uh, at chuckle, whatever, at the people that are trying their best to uh, keep the law and uh, say they're, whether it's Seventh-day Adventists or Messianic people or Sabbath keepers, whatever, you know, uh, if all the people we find in the Old Testament um, from Genesis through Malachi couldn't keep the law, how are all these people today keeping it? And, uh, you know, how can they do it? It's, it's just baffles me. And then when Paul makes it very clear, but that's okay. That's their choice. And they got to work all that out with the Lord. Uh, good to see you. Let's see Gwen Barnes. Uh, welcome. Uh, glad to see. And my wife, Prophet Sargent is watching. Okay. Well, it's nice to see those that are like, we're trying, this is the test today, folks. We want to see how this would work with our program. Those dear ones listening. And our lines are open. I didn't say that earlier, but our, we do have our lines open. If you do call in, we'll take your call and then we'll hit the live because the live people can't hear you. We haven't figured out how to do that. But our phone lines are available, 646-649-1155. 646-649-1155. And so if Jesus hadn't come through a virgin and been born, he couldn't have fulfilled being that perfect sacrifice. He was obedient to his father. Then he lived. He was obedient to living. He lived the 33 and about half years and did all the things that, oh, incredible things that were such incredible examples, wonderful examples for us as we uh, seek to measure and to do what he said we could do in John, our dear John, uh, St. John 14, verse 12. You know, he told us, he says, I do all, I did all these things. You can do this. You can do that too. And you can do greater things. So that's what we look for in this ministry are the things that he did and the greater things, the miracles, the signs, the wonders. So he lived and then in living, he had to die so that we could live. So we all wouldn't have to die. So he became our substitute and um, went to the cross, took all that, oh, that scourging and the merciless uh, beatings and stuff they did to him. And, and yes, the Romans did it. Uh, the Jews watched. And so he died. He was in the grave, literally, the word says three and a half, three, three days, three nights. And depending on how you study the word, the Jewish people have what's called these half days. So that's how some people come up with this Friday to Sunday morning. And others, three days, three nights would take you from Wednesday. Bottom line, whenever it was, it was three days, three nights. And uh, you try that. You try to get out after three days. Anyway, the Lord woke him up. He went back to glory. Then he came back and walked on the earth for 40 days, ate with people, you know. He supped with them. He spent time with the disciples. So he did that. And so there are people that deny that he did it. But thanks be to God. I tell you, when you plead the blood of Jesus and do, hallelujah, mm, my God, uh, we've seen it. We've seen it. I got a call. I actually has a Got a call today from somebody who was wanting prayer and prayed and was thanking God that we can pray and we do pray. And we see the power of God. We see it at work. We see it through the healings and through the deliverance and through the victory. So that's another part. Denies the atoning blood of Jesus. Then we can go to, let's go to Second Thessalonians. I, so neat here. I have this. Um, I have another piece of software. If you want my book, and you want the software, else we'll get that to you as well. Uh, second Thessalonians, the second chapter, verse four. Need we have outlines? Think about how we try to memorize all this stuff. My Lord, you got it. You've got. You have it laid out. Why try to memorize it? Anyway. Praise God. So we have in Second Thessalonians, um, oh, my, my, my. As a matter of fact, I want to go off track just for one moment and read verse 3. 
it says, let no man deceive you. Uh, for that day shall come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. I'm telling you, dear ones, um, there's a great falling away. And I, I just, those of you listening, I encourage you to stay with God. Uh, no matter what is going on, how it looks like, who you see fall, who you see uh, go in denial, who you see uh, act up, whatever, stay with the Lord. This is not a time to backslide for a moment. 50 years ago, maybe, 100 years ago, maybe, never, but, you know, but now don't. We are so close to his, his return, and I'd hate to see you walk with the Lord all this time and miss it. I don't know, you know, but let's not uh, take that road. So verse 4 is what, where we really want to go. It says, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God. So we have the spirit of Antichrist, people's behavior, people's attitude, uh, people's persuasion, people's way, but there is actually going to be a physical person. Now, <laughs> there are those, matter of fact, we just saw something last week that said, uh, oh, I know some, if you saw, if you have, if you have a Facebook, you would have seen, I posted it with a chuckle. I said, some priest, I think he died for a few hours or a day or something. And he said while he was dead, he saw uh, God, and God was a woman. And I said, oh, Lord, these people, you know, all these, there's so much foolishness. Anyway, that's what he saw. So what I'm, the point I want to make, make kind of, to me I'm laughing about it, is will the Antichrist be a male or a female? This says he, so I'm believing the Antichrist is going to be a man. I believe what the word says, uh, even though this priest thought he saw God as a woman. Uh, I remember God's a spirit, and I would say God would have, if he was anything, he was both, meaning because we're made in his likeness and his image. And so to him, it's neither male nor female. So that's, that's a whole other discussion or teaching. But the Antichrist, the, the being, He's going to be being just like Jesus is a being now. So he's against Christ too. He's against Christ's teachings, and uh, it's going to be something. Let me put it this way to all of you listening. You don't want to be here. Welcome, Kira. This is, uh, and welcome, uh, Evangelist Barbara. Sister Mac, Evangelist Mac, praise God for you. Wonderful woman that comes on. Um, a, I was on our program once, I think when I was in Colorado, at four in the morning or five in the morning, three in the morning or something like that. She has Jesus in the morning. And he's Jesus 24-7. But I like the idea of Jesus in the morning because you wake up with Jesus, then you can make your day with him. All right, so we have uh, who opposes and exalts up above. That's this man. It's, that's who, it's, who, who, who he will be. And... Uh, I would suspect if Jesus is truly coming back within the next few days, few weeks, few years, not long, that the Antichrist more than likely is alive. He's not going to just all of a sudden appear. He is a man. All right, let's go to Second Thessalonians, um, the humanism. Okay, and I since I read verse 3, <laughs> Uh, all right, let me read it again. Let no man deceive you, for that day shall come, except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin. So we know that, again, the, the Antichrist, the, the being, is a person. And um, <laughs> he is the son of perdition, or he is Satan. And remember that Satan or Lucifer, whatever title you want to give him, counterfeits God Almighty. He's trying his best. So just like we have God the Father, 
God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. <laughs> this, this is terrible. We have Satan, <laughs> the Father. We have the, the Son of Perdition. Well, we have the Antichrist, and we have the False Prophet. Actually, look, let me do it this way. It's really this way. We have the, the Beast. <laughs> it's one, that's one person. We have the False Prophet. That's another person. And then we have the Antichrist. So those three make up the unholy trinity. And those three are opposed to God. So I, I tell you one thing, if you uh, don't make the rapture, meaning you don't get caught away, a lot of folks don't like the word rapture because they say, well, it's not in the Bible. So I want to be sure you, I know it's not there. I use that because it's an easier word. But if you don't get caught away when the saints are caught away to be with the Lord forever and you're left here, and you end up having to be one of those that can become a beheaded witness, boy, oh boy, you'll have to get your head cut off. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal, you're going to take the mark and deal with the, with all of the stuff that's going to go on. All right, let's go on. Let's, let's go back now. Um, let's go back to 1 John. Uh, any, I don't see any questions in the chat room. Thank you, Prophetess, for posting the, those things in the chat room. Uh, let's go back to John, 1 John 4, and let's go to verse 5. Now, um, this is the worldly speech and actions. He says here, well, let's, let's read verse 4. I always like to get all the verses. You of God, little children, that's all of us even today, and I'm overcome them because greater is he, and this is a scripture that many of us like to use, you know, we get up and testify, greater is he that's in us than he's in the world. And that's so, we have that. We've got all these forces of evil, but as long as we have the greater one, we receive Christ in us. Remember, with the Lord, he still has, with God the Father, there in heaven, there's still two thirds of the heavenly angels. Satan was only uh, victorious with a third. So two thirds is considered a majority. And we have that. So great that so when you say that you can legitimately say that and know you've got the backing of God the Father if in fact we're doing it God's way and we are using utilizing the word and obeying the word of God. Now, verse 5 says, they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. So uh, those people belong to this world. we got some folks belong to this world. So they speak from the world's viewpoint, and the world listens to them. And that's, you, you know, we <laughs> you want to be sure. See, when you're saved, sanctified. Now, everybody's not filled with the Holy Ghost, but if you're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, and you put on all that you will put on. You know, when you, we, you speak, when I speak, talk, uh, and sometimes we're in places, the world don't receive what we say. They have an anti-Christ spirit. They have a, like they're against what we say, and and they find their reasons, their uh, whatever it is, arguments, their discussions. All right, and when they speak. Uh, the world listens. Let's read this uh, amplified. They proceed from the world and are of the world. Therefore, it is of. Therefore, it is out of the world. Now, in in brackets, it is whole economy morally considered that they speak and the world listens, pays attention to them. So, you know that's what happens. So that's the worldly speech in action, our speech, and that's why you know I think one place. The scripture tells us to, to uh, we should really be careful in our jesting and our joking. We should be careful in the way we speak and how we speak because our words have power. And let's just say you're around someone that's not a Christian. They already are kind of against you. They are. And you go say something out of place that adds fuel to the wrong fire. And so you take away from that which you're supposed to be putting forth for the Lord. So we've got to be careful in, in what we say. Now, let's go to, oh, yes, 
first john 2 let's go over to first john over the second chapter let's see there we go and we're going down to verse 18 and 19. prophetess is so kindly putting it in the chat room and they, we've got blog for those of you on live we're on we're on uh, blog talk radio live right now as well as mix lr and if people if you had questions you could always call in to our blog talk radio phone line and ask a question or you can simply email us would be the another way and we'll deal with it all right uh, the second uh, first john 2 verse 18 and 19 says little children i love how he talks of course this guy this, this guy john he lived to be you know almost what 90. i mean and the man was boiled in oil and still lived <laughs> god had his back god took good care of him all right, little children, it is the last time. Uh, it is the last time. And as you have heard, that the Antichrist shall come. Even now are there many Antichrists, whereby we know that it is the last time. So now he's writing this almost a couple thousand years ago, and they were dealing with the Antichrist. Remember I told you, I know the spirit was definitely manifest in Herod when he tried to kill the baby Jesus when he's killing all those babies. And so uh, they're dealing with him right after Jesus took off. We're dealing with him today. Think of all the different religions and, and stuff that's out there. And remember, we're not in religion. That's the one thing that uh, everybody's truly saved. You gotta understand, we're not in religion. We are in what's called salvation. Religion is man's attempt to get to God, and salvation is the Lord coming to us, which he did through Jesus and, of course, his word. So we have something that they don't have. They, they try to use it for their own benefit, but eh, just like the Tower of Babel, 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 however you want to say it, you know, they wanted to get to God. They were sure getting pretty close, apparently. All right, uh, let's go on. Verse 19, they went out from us, but they were not of us. <coughs> Excuse me. If they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not of us. So we have this today. We have, you, you, you see churches, you see groups, you see excuse me, organizations that come together that start out, well, again, the spirit of Antichrist. And uh, someone finds something in the scripture that they think is correct, that someone else is teaching, they go off and start another, start another denomination or another something. And as we talk about, have, and we, there's so many, what are there, 30,000, <coughs> excuse me, 32,000 different um, or more i don't know the exact number because it's probably changing daily if we keep getting some something different uh, of the faiths and beliefs and followings and who knows let's stay with the word stay in the holy bible all right so that let's go on we're running out of time let's go we want to go to revelation let's get to revelation the last book in this bible chapter 13 and uh, verse 7. So, Revelation 13, the Antichrist himself. And it was given unto him to make war, aha, with the saints, and to overcome them. And power was given to him over all kindreds and tongues and nations. This is now, we're going to find out who this is because it doesn't say. Now, this version is scripture is teaching that it's the antichrist let's read though what the king the new living testament remember i said you got to follow these it says uh and the, let's just go to, to that it says and the beast remember i said the beast the antichrist and the false prophet three different three different individuals and the beast was allowed to wage war against god's holy people and to conquer them and he was given authority to rule over every tribe and people and language and nation. 
Now, if we were to do an exhaustive study, we'd go back to Daniel and follow the chart and see of how this beast shows up. Let's go on. In uh, Amplified, he was further permitted to wage war on God's holy people, so the saints. So uh, it's not going to be a fun thing to have to deal with him. Uh, I'm saying that in jest. It's, it's, it's going to be a very, very sad thing. And that is stated because some people believe that we will still be here. I believe we'll be gone, and it's the people that take on and acknowledge the Lord and become the beheaded witnesses. All right, uh, let's go back to, we read that. Let's just go back to the last one, lawlessness and rebellion. And we have that greatly now, Second Thessalonians. That'll be our last scripture, and then we'll be out of here. Uh, Second Thessalonians 2, and I'll start with verse 3. Let no man deceive you by any means. Here it is, for that day shall come. We want that step there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed. Listen, no, listen what's going to happen. This is, it's, uh, I just pray that whoever is listening that's not saved, that you will <coughs> get yourself with the Lord. You will receive him and, and allow him to transform you. Let's go on. Uh, verse 4 we read, who opposes himself up above all things, all that is called God or that is worship, so that he, as God, sitteth, listen, in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember I said the counterfeit. He's got to act like God, at least he thinks he is. Uh, remember you now, let's go on, that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. Okay, he's just reiterating. This is now Paul writing to Thessalonians. All right, uh, let's see here. Verse uh, that was verse five, verse six says, "And now you know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time." It's given a warning, continue to give warning because again, they were told this was going to be, but time God didn't give them the time, and that's like today we live just an aside. Here we are living, I believe, what I consider if you study the calendar of time we're on what would be considered borrowed time or is what god showed to daniel time he didn't show we're in a sort of in between and uh, boy god's mercy is, is is upon us to still be here and upon the land and still close to be saved for the mystery of iniquity doth already work only he who now letteth, will let, until he be taken out of the way. For the lawlessness, that's what he's talking about, the devil, and his work is already at work secretly. And, you know, there are those who, who really believe that the beast, the false prophet, the Antichrist, those people are alive and, and working. And it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Now, here's what we believe and that is we are the ones that's keeping um them from really doing what as long as the saints are in the earth it's bad but when the lord jesus christ takes us out we're caught away or raptured then it all hell breaks loose even him who's coming is after the working of satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. Read through Revelation and you'll see all the stuff. It's, you know, it's going to be something. I sure thank God we won't be here. We, we can see it from heaven. If we want to pay attention to it. But we got the word. It's already told us what's going to happen. All right. So it's there. Um, so let me read to you. And with deceitfulness and unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. And think about the, the what we have on the earth right now, the, the, the lack of, of love and truth. The truth is here, but people receiving it. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth but had pleasure in unrighteousness. 
spirit of antichrist all right so that is what is in the earth we have the authority to root it out to when those come for deliverance who it's working in to bind it and to cast it out and to set them free and understand with this spirit there are uh, whatever the other spirits may be. Because remember, uh, typically when someone is under a uh, place where they need deliverance, uh, it, it's not necessarily that it's just one spirit that can be uh, either oppressing them or causing the challenge uh, with them. It could be several. And so those are called out. Or it could be just a situation that an offense occurred. Or what, whatever the, the challenge that has put them in a place where they need the deliverance, need the transformation, uh, then you get to the root. And if this is one of the spirits, these are the scriptures and the things that the Lord would give to bring the deliverance. So that is the spirit of Antichrist. Alrighty, let's see. Um, have no hands, right? Well, let me see. We've got our chat room open also in MixLR. I see a note here. Let's see if something comes up over there. Uh, Sister Dorothy is saying no sound. Well, I don't know if she just said it, but Brother Jocko is hearing sound. He's been hearing it, so I'm not sure what's happening. But hopefully all of you that are still there are hearing it, and we thank God for you being with us today, that uh, you're hearing uh, the word and receiving it. Alrighty, so uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll see where we are but we thank god let's just pray over this father i thank you for this word i thank you for this time that we've had in dealing with the spirit of antichrist and father i thank you that if anyone uh, encounters it they'll know uh, at least there's a reference they can come to uh, in these teachings to know the scriptures and how to deal with it and that lord anyone that it's troubled by that that they be released from it now in the name of jesus that it no longer torment them or harass them, but that it goes, and that they believe the full word of God, that Jesus uh, was born, lived, died, and is alive forevermore. We thank you for the victory. We thank you for your love and your grace. We give you glory and honor. We give you praise. We bless your people. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Uh, thank you, Sister Millie Stearns is here with us, and Kira, uh, my cousin, is here. Praise God for her. All righty. Well, thank God for all of you that were here today. Um, this was an experiment to see if we could do the live as well as teach uh, with the Black Talk Radio and the MixLR. And, well, let us know what your thoughts are. God be with you. Prophetess, thank you for running that board in the um, Black Talk Radio. Until tomorrow, remember this thought that pain is not for life. Oh, yes. You have the victory in Jesus. Come back tomorrow at 5. And, uh, oh, and if you're planning to join us tonight with Brother Shannon on um, the Omega Man, there will be no program tonight. Brother Shannon and Sister Shannon had their baby this morning, Jeremiah Ray Davis. Eight pounds, and I think it was a quarter, but a big baby. And so tonight there will be no program. But we'll be back tomorrow with our normal program at 5 o'clock right here. God bless. God bless each of you in Jesus' name. God bless. Great deals are springing up at New York and Company. Today, everything is 40% off. Plus, today only, new dresses only $19.99. New York and Company has more than 200 dress styles, from maxis to fit and flare perfect for everywhere. Plus, the new spring collection from Ava Mendes is on trend and on sale. Hop online or to stores to get 40% off everything at New York and Company.